you would see my routine. So every morning I do, I got my coffee, I walk around, there's our main guy, Adrian. They set up and ran the hardest, one of the hardest jobs on these machines. This is a seven axis screw machine. We're making these little screws. There's a 12 foot bar. It's five eighths diameter that's in this channel right here. And then they, there's some tools performing operations on the bar. So the bar's churning at about 7,000 RPM. That is really fast for a machine because you can imagine you have a bar that's five eighths diameter it's spinning at 7,000 RPM. So if there's any vibration or the bar's bent, it'll blow up. It'll actually destroy this whole machine. So it's really critical to make sure you have straight bars and that they're precision ground and they're not bent. This is one. He's one of our, he's one of our grinding and lathe guys. What tone aren't you holding on this? And you check every part like this? Every part. He moves at 20 millionths, which is 0 0.000020. On that type of job, is like, um, critical for aerospace. I mean, there's a lot of grinding going on in aerospace, mainly because the tolerances are so tight. So if you really want to hold a really tight tolerance uh, consistently, you got to use a grinding machine. And that's what he's doing there. So these guys are very specialized people we have here. That gentleman there has probably got 30 years experience. Just one little uh, mess up or he's not paying attention and you're, you're throwing thousand dollar parts in the trash pretty quick. So, well then I go over here and I talk to my other friend, Victor. I want to make sure everybody's doing their work. Uh, how are these ones? It's good? Cool. These are knot pullers for the, um, for the reels. Like you want to tie your braided line to your mono or your fluorocarbon, you use this to kind of tighten the, the line. So what I'm going to do now is close it up, let the machine progress to the next operation. Since this robot's intelligent, it's checking its gripper to make sure that the pins are set for the right bar size. So one side of the grippers grabs the bar stock, and the, the ones that are going now grabs the actual finished part. The robot knows that there's no parts on this side and it knows there's parts on the back side, so it's gonna move it. It's a big advantage over the old technology because when you have one program, the one thing it needs to do is have some type of intelligence to know the difference between one part and another part. And it does, she's always there for you. Every day I come to work, she's there.